I'm going to be comparing my 4090 with a 3060 12GB to see how they compare in these AI things I've been showing on my channel. The main motivator behind it is I wanted to see if this budget GPU would be able to handle a lot of the loads that we're doing with these AI tools and in my testing it's actually not that bad. So for all of the tests I'm going to be using the same PC which has a 13900K Intel CPU and 64GB of RAM. All I'll be doing is swapping out the 4090 for the 30 60 on the same slot so that they have the same speeds technically and one thing to note for these tests is that I'm going to be using the maximum batch size that is allowed for each GPU so as not to hold the 4090 back since it has more VRAM. I think this is more of a practical approach rather than trying to just test the raw speed between the two GPUs. And so the tools we're going to be testing it on are Tortoise TTS for text generation, RVC for voice to voice with a little bit of W Okada for voice changing and then we're going to be using it on stable diffusion something that I have not gone over in this channel but it's image generation. Lastly we'll be going over a local LLM for text generation kind of like ChatGPT and we'll compare the tokens per seconds between the two GPUs. One thing I have to say before all of these tests is all of these have YouTube videos that I've gone over in my channel so if you want more details on what they actually are go check out those YouTube videos. But first up is Tortoise TTS the text generation software where you can enter in a prompt and then it's going to output an audio file in a voice that you perhaps trained on. I'm going to be using the exact same settings for Tortoise TTS between the graphics cards. However, the 3060, I have to do a gradient accumulation of 10 instead of 5 because the VRAM is half of that of the 4090, so it makes sense in this case. Real quick, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of me generating a 41-word prompt me just continually clicking the generate button and you can see what the difference is on the left side is the 4090 and on the right side is the 3060. Note that this is just for the inference now with that we're gonna go ahead and head on over into the training time it took between the two. On the Y axis of this chart we have three different data sets we've got a 10 minute data set a 30 minute data set and then a 60 minute data set. The orange is the RTX 3060 and the blue is the RTX 49 90. And what you can see here is the 3060 takes considerably longer than the 4090. In this 60 minute data set, it takes around 200 minutes or 3 hours, whereas the 4090 takes closer to around 36 minutes. You can see the same trend for the 30 minute and the 10 minute data set as well. One important thing to note is the relationship between the different data sets is linear, so that'll come into play when we compare for price for performance. On this next chart here, we have the TTS inference time. So this is what you saw earlier, the difference in in generation. These are with the exact same settings and with the exact same prompt between the two. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the price for performance for Tortoise TTS. The linear relationship I said is important because we're going to be comparing the 10 minute data set. It's going to be the exact same if you compare the 10 versus the 30 or the 60 minute data set due to that linear relationship. And to match the price for performance of the 3060, the 4090 would need to be closer to around $1,013.57 which means you're getting more price for performance by buying the 3060 in this case. Next up we have RVC or retrieval based voice conversion. This is going to be the voice to voice that allows you to clone anybody's voice. The biggest thing this software has been used for are things like the AI covers that you see floating on the internet right now. For this like the previous tests we'll be using the exact same settings but the batch size will be different. In this case the RTX 4090 we're running at 36 and the RTX 3060 we're running at 6. 16, as these were the values that I found most optimal for the testing. And the results of RVC was a little bit surprising and a little bit shocking to me that I'll talk about a little bit after we go over the charts. Heading on over into the RVC training chart, we've got the same 10 minute, 30 minute, and 60 minute data set. And on the right side here, you can already see a stark difference between the Tortoise TTS chart and the RVC training time differences. So if we take a look at the RTX versus the 3060, it is not even two times faster than the 30. 60. So for the 60 minute data set, it took 160 minutes for the 3060 and 109 minutes for the 4090. And for an inference on a 4 minute song, the 3060 took around 7.5 seconds whereas the 4090 took closer to around 5. And since the tests were linear as well between the data sets, we can consider just one of the data sets. We're going to do the 10 minute data set. So in order for the 4090 to match the 3060, it would have to be $309.09. And these 
results to me were quite surprising. The thing is, is I don't think I was doing anything wrong operationally on my end of things. If I was doing something wrong for the 4090, it should have been wrong for the 3060 as well. Perhaps there are some optimizations that I did not check. But all of these were done through just using the releases by RVC. So that means to me there are some optimizations that may be lacking um, on the RVC side of things here because the results should be closer to around four to five times faster, I believe, for the 4090. So at the current state of things, the 4090 actually doesn't perform that much faster than the 3060 for RVC training. And now here's just a quick test of the delay that's possible on the voice change. Okay, so here I am running the voice changer with a chunk of 64 using the clip full. If I beat it down to clip tiny, I can get it even faster. Okay, so this is how it sounds at 24 with clip full. And then if I beat it down to clip tiny, this is how it sounds and it's a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. And it's pretty fast, but as you can see, it is using a majority of my graphics card. So if you plan on playing any games, you probably won't be able to do that on the 3060. So moving on to Stable Diffusion, this is the software that allows you to create images through the whole diffusion process by subtracting noise and all that fun stuff. I tested a Stable Diffusion 1.5 model using the Mainamix Mana model, which is for anime images, Stable Diffusion XL using the base, the refiner, and then another one called Dream Shaper XL. And then I did Stable Diffusion with text to image and high res fix which is I believe equivalent to upscaling the image and for this I only use Stable Diffusion 1.5 to do this comparison. If this comparison is missing anything you would like me to do please let me know down below in the comments as well. Jumping into a quick little comparison for the speed of image generation on the left side here you will have the 4090 generating images and on the right side here you will have the 3060 generating images. This is with Stable Diffusion 1.5 using the main a mix model and this is with a width and height of 512 so it's going to be a square image if we now move on over into sdxl between the 4090 and 3060 we're going to be generating a 1024 by 1024 image and you can see the comparison for how fast the 4090 generates versus the 3060. And then one more time, we're going to be using high res fix. So this is equivalent to upscaling where we're going to be using the main or mix model. And we're going to be doing a width and height of 512. So let's head on over to the graphs for the y axis. I have 896 by 896, 768 by 768, and 512 by 512. Moving on over into SDXL, we've got the Dream Shaper, the SDXL Base Plus Refiner, and then the SDXL Base Models. For all of these generations, the RTX 3060 was above 20 seconds. As you can see, the SDXL Plus Refiner takes around 26 seconds to do. And then you can see that the 4090 is close to around 4 seconds with the outlier being the SDXL Plus Refiner at around 7.2. Lastly, we've got the Stable Diffusion Text to Image and High Res Fix chart where we can see some of the comparisons. For the 896 by 896, the 3060 takes 72 seconds for generation and the 4090 takes 37 seconds. If we jump down to 768, we can see that gap increase with the 3060 at 40 seconds and the 4090 at at 12 and then at 512 by 512 the 3060 takes 12 seconds whereas the 4090 takes around three seconds and then jumping into price for performance the same way i calculate all the other ones um i have some areas where i have highlighted that might be of some importance for some people overall the 4090 is 4.2 times faster and in order for it to match the 3060 for price for performance, it would need to be $844.46. But some things to note for the image generation side of things, if you are running SDXL, the 4090 takes around 4 seconds, whereas the 3060 takes closer to around 20 seconds. So if you're running the 3060, you will be waiting a little bit longer. And as you can see, this is the largest difference that we have here at 5.65 as well for it being 4.25 times faster for 512 uh, text to image and being 4.06 times faster for 512 high res fix. And lastly, we're gonna be comparing the local large language models. And the one that I used was Gonako 7B Llama 2. 
On the left hand side here you'll see the 4090 generation and on the right side here you'll see the 3060 generation. The question I asked was just to give me a quick rundown of ReZero the anime. And now if we compare the generation speeds for the Guanaco 7B Llama 2 model, for this graph higher means better, that means you get more generations per second. In this case the RTX 4090 is generating at about 75 tokens per second whereas the RTX 3060 is generating closer to around 28 tokens per second. And if we head down on over to price for performance, the RTX 4090 is 2.71 times faster than the 3060 for tokens per second, and the price to be would be around $542.82. However, for LLMs, one important thing to take note of is that the VRAM in this case is a constraint. So whereas the 24 gigabytes of VRAM would allow me to run a 33 billion parameter model, the 3060 I believe is, is only able to run up to 13 billion parameter models so that is one thing to consider when you're comparing these different gpus so if you're strictly going to run on gpus vram is very important in this case as you'll be able to load larger models with more vram and of course the 4090 is able to generate decently fast with 33 billion parameter models in my testing and for some final thoughts the 3060 actually performed pretty well in a lot of these tools i did not think it was going to perform as fast as it did and it's actually much more bang for your buck than the 4090. You can often find it for $200 on eBay or close to around that and I think it's an absolute steal to be able to get a card like this with 12 gigabytes of VRAM to use for these AI tools. And with these tests finally done, with this 3060 what I plan on doing is building a PC that's $500 or less and I've actually already priced one out and will be building that in a upcoming videos so that'll be interesting i will be excited to see how that pc actually performs and we'll be playing around with some of these ai tools with that pc so stay tuned for that video and if you do plan on upgrading your gpu i do have affiliate links down below in the description everything that you buy on there does help out the channel and i appreciate all of the help and assistance that you guys give to me but that's going to be all today hope you guys found something interesting and i'll see you guys later